Good morning, good morning. What is going on, guys? It is uh, 3.13 a.m. I am on my way to the gym. That is how I usually start my day. It has been uh, hectic, to say the least. I'm going to share something with you. and This is probably going to be one of my shortest uh, little videos here because uh, I, I, I think I'm, I'm running out of things to say. This is day 900 or a thousand already. Imagine 365 days and years, 52 weeks I'm doing these videos, this consistency. Understand what it takes to be consistent to do anything. You want to lose weight? Hey, I went on a diet for three months. It didn't work. I'm quitting it. <laughs> right? Consistency. Nothing worth having comes without consistency. Me and Malachi were driving down the street yesterday. And we were... He, he, he asked me some of the most random... Good questions, but random. And he made a statement. He said, I bet you have to do a lot of what you do prep in order to keep up with your schedule, your type of day, or you'd probably fall apart. I said, yeah. And I said, let me explain something. I said that when you work out, depending on your body, depending on who you are, say the first week, two weeks, three weeks, maybe a month, after you're done working out, your impulse is to go to sleep, lay down. One, mentally, you're telling yourself that you've earned the right to go to sleep. So you take yourself up on it the first week, too. And then you'll even excuse it away when people say, you just worked out. Why are you going to sleep? Why well, just worked out? I'm tired. So you'll mentally give yourself a pass and say, I earned this. And then you'll reinforce it with an excuse and say, I worked out. I'm tired. That's natural. But what most people don't know is that after the end of that two, three, four weeks, if you can resist the temptation to go to sleep, that that feeling after you work out turns into energy, turns into just pure energy. And I told Malachi, I said, listen, I said in the beginning of everything that I've done, I can't recall a time where I did not feel some type of adverse side effect. I said, but on the other side of that side effect is power, energy, strength. And you need that. Physical exercise gives you strength and energy. Well, you might be like, well, I'm, I'm using up energy to work out. No, you're building something both physically and mentally. And it's being able to get past those humps when you feel like you want to just faint that you can move into your greatness. You can move into your consistency because you can't, you can't have anything without consistency. And you can't have consistency without energy. You can't have energy without discipline. You, you, you're kind of seeing the holy trinity of, of, of life and how one supports another. So if you want the most out of life and you know that that's directly attached to consistency, then you have to build capacity. So I tell him, he says, 
He says, I bet you you have to do this, 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 and that in order to stay on top of things and not fall apart. Say you build capacity. I remember when I first started out, I would, I'd work out and I'd go to sleep. Or I remember when I first started out, I'd, I'd eat a little bit and then I'd go to sleep. Everything ended with me going to sleep because I was constantly rewarding myself. But who would have known I would have ran my fastest time yesterday, then decided to go on a nice long hike up a steep mountain. Then come da- down, still have a pr- very productive day. You know, I do open houses. I'm in real estate. I do open houses. So I have about two million signs I put out. Then I'd come back down the mountain, put the signs up, run all the way back to the other side of town, take a quick shower, eat something, get dressed, go to my open house, find out that the signs were all blown down because the wind was super strong, right? Pick all the signs back up, do it again, make it to my open house, entertain. Take on a couple offers, present those offers, show my clients homes, do lead follow-up. Make sure everything's on point, make sure everything's closing on time. You build capacity. But my prayer this morning was, I said, God, it feels like I'm going to break. Because after I did all that, I still made it to church last night. Now, I'm, I'm not even saying that to brag. I'm just saying that this is the capacity that you need to build. So keep one thing in mind. How you do one thing is how you do everything. You go at it with 50%, that's how you're gonna handle everything. Build your capacity. And build your life, period.